this is Leo and we're here at the Korean and USA Startup Summit 2022 at the Pier 17 in New York. And thanks for the global partnership between Aving News and Le Café de Geek, French high-tech media, myself. We're conducting some interviews here and we are again on the Hyundai booth. And now we're going to meet Marcel, a very, very interesting project. Thank you. Hi. Hello, nice how are you? you? Nice to meet you. And um, so can we start by a short presentation of the company and the project? Okay, so Mycel is a startup yes. spawned off from Hyundai Motor Company about mm -hmm. two and a half years ago. And what we are doing is basically um, we grow mycelium yes. in our lab. Mm -hmm. And then once we receive the grown mycelium, we turn, turn them into either mycelium leather mm -hmm. or mycoprotein which is you know, usually regarded as um, uh, alternative meat. Yes. So we have basically two different business streams, but coming off from the same resource, which is mycelium. Okay, so uh, for people that don't know, mycelium is the mushroom roots, to yeah. be, make it simple. So you grow them, and how do you turn the mycelium into laser, for example? Okay, so, okay. But well, first off, let me explain a little bit about the mycelium. Okay. I will make it a little, little quick. Uh, mycelium is basically a uh, root part of the mushroom. Yes. And it's kind of a spider web mm -hmm. that is produced and woven by fungi. So it has a high fiber within. Okay. So that fiber actually realizes the, 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 the end products because, for example, in food perspective, you already have fiber uh, within the material. It gives you the chewing feeling, which is far better than the other, like, pea-based uh, turntin meat. Yes. And also, in this case as well, since it has a, the tissue of mycelium has high similarity with the muscle tissue of animal, mm -hmm. so it reproduces the feeling of touching the animal leather itself. So, see, you can, yes. if you touch it, you just feel like... It's feel like leather. Exactly. Mm. Like very hard leather, but it's vegan. Exactly. And it, is, and it feels better than... Uh, Plastic one, the thing, right. plastic one. You know what? In fact, you are touching the words very first mycelium leather mm. applied Ooh. scar seat. Well, nice. this is small one for now, but next year you will yeah. see the. Uh, Maybe three. I can drive this one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, very nice. How long have you been uh, making uh, laser from mycelium? Because uh, if it's the first one, it's, it's not long, right? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch the question. Oh, okay, uh, I mean, how long have you been making uh, mycelium laser? Ah, how, you mean how long it takes to produce one of those? Or? Also, yeah. Yeah, okay, so my, our company has been developing the R&D mm -hmm. for like um, four years plus. Okay. And then in terms of how long it takes to produce a piece of it, mycelium leather, well, we can say like two weeks. Okay. In two weeks, you will have a, from fungi or mycelium, to the mycelium leather, what you are seeing right now. So that's really efficient. Very fast, isn't it? And I can see on the TV at the same time uh, that you're also doing uh, all the type of product, like bags, shoes, etc. Yeah. Is, this laser can be applied to any laser use, right? Yes, sir. I mean, means like like the regular leather being applied. You know, you can now you see the car seat, but at the same time, it can be applied to I don't know, like bags mm -hmm. or hats. You name it. I mean, in fact, we are looking for um, looking for to, to creating a consortium with a fashion and automotive brands who can who can be really interested in, in our project because at the end, leather yeah. and the protein, the common thing in the in these two is the sustainability. That's true. It's very easy to go remote. Yeah. So we are looking for to have some partners in this consortium who mm -hmm. value the sustainability in producing their um, products. That makes sense. And I think uh, that almost replied to the last question I had yeah. was, uh, why are you at this show and what do you expect? But I guess uh, you already kind of replied to it. Right, because, you know, in fact, you know, looking into these two categories, um, three common problems we see is the land efficiency, yes. water usage, and carbon emission. And these two materials can reduce 90% plus reduction of those three categories. So why it can't be a valuable or correct choice? That's that's amazing. Like, we know like mushroom is already a very sustainable food for people to eat. So yeah. It's very healthy and very easy to grow. And yeah. 
and very eco-friendly. But using it for other usage is very nice and I really hope uh, this project can evolve and maybe uh, find some food, some vegan food <laughs> with mushroom in the future. Yeah, okay. I mean you can ride a mushroom yeah. leather applied car yeah. and go to a drive through and get a burger that yeah. is with the mycelium patty that, or something like that. That would be like amazing. That. Yeah. I really hope uh, this is coming uh, to US and to Western country as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. What? Uh, rest, rest, rest man and shake hand. One more time. Okay. 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 Ah. Okay. 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 And partnering companies in fashion brands, mm. um, so we are looking forward to have you know, receive some attention from them who value the sustainability we can offer to their products and to their brand. Mm. That really makes sense. I really hope in the future I will be able to see you in my daily product, maybe in my next car or in okay. my next meal. I hope you will be able to grow and come to the Western countries. Thank you very and much. And thank you for your time for this interview. I hope to see you again. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, thank you.